Okay. So I'm hot tenting in Algonquin Provincial Park at Mew Lake Campground. Uh, the reason why is I'm uh, out with some students, some high school students from Port Perry. Port Perry. And uh, why? Well, I teach college uh, part-time and I teach a program called Dual Credit. And it's um, high school students that want to see the end of the tunnel and sort of sort of say what's college or post-secondary all about. We take them in for a, a couple of courses. And what I get to teach them is um, um, ecosystem skills, it's called. And I teach them how to identify twigs and birds and tracking. We're going to do that today. And it's fantastic. So the high school uh, teachers have brought them out um, winter camping. Uh, and I decided, hey, I'm coming along and teach them while they're doing that. Love it. These guys are amazing. Uh, I spend a lot of my time um, teaching uh, students that have no interest at all and I have to uh, convince them that the outdoors is a good place to be and it's cool to identify twigs and stuff like that. <laughs> um, nothing wrong with that, it's just uh, it's tough starting down here and trying to work your way up. These guys, they're up here and it makes a huge difference. They actually want to know what that twig is. They want to winter camp. It was uh, minus 22 last night. They all cold camped. It was kind of an uh, odd thing. Um, you know, maybe something we can, should be concerned about. They, they go winter camping, but the, the school system said, okay, you can do that, but you can't sleep in a um, heated um, structure. And I guess because there was probably some accident uh, uh, a, a few years back. I don't know, maybe someone uh, uh, got injured by being in a, in a hot tent. Um, so they had a hot tent, a big one, that they congregate in and they have their meals in, but to go to bed and sleep, they can't sleep in a hot tent, so they have to go in a cold tent. Uh, they were fine. They, they, they went and slept and then ran back in the morning to have breakfast. I didn't. I slept in my hot tent. <laughs> um, and uh, I put two of them up. I put this one. This is the one I uh, stayed in. But I got two snow truckers. One's a short wall, one's a base camp. Uh, I camped in the smaller one. Uh, I can always forget which one's which. Pretty sure this is the short wall. It's taller, smaller, um, but taller. I, I like it. It was cold because I'm using this stove, uh, which is going out right now. Um, Muskrat Metalworks makes it, and it's good for you know, minus 10, minus 20 degrees Celsius, but it was beyond that last night, and I had to stoke this thing about every hour, and to the point I just gave up and just went in my sleeping bag and got warm and went through the night. Um, all right, I gotta focus here. What I really wanna show you is just, uh, this is my first time out uh, this year on hot tenting, and I'm quite excited about it, even though it's New Lake Campground. New Lake Campground's not a bad place to go to in a Gonquin Park, to be quite honest, for, uh, for uh, hot tenting or cold camping, whatever, because it's got, a washroom that's heated. So if all else fails, we can all sleep in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, it's got water available and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. All right. Um, oh yeah, I just want to show you some of the gear I brought that I bought this year to bring for this season. And yeah, first thing, oh yeah, this, this knife. I got this knife from my daughter for the summer canoe trips because uh, it's a little small knife. It's by Heli called the Gonquin. Nice birch and uh, I'm guessing walnut uh, finish. Really sharp blade. It's a really small knife. I thought it was cool to get her. And then I realized, you know what? I'm going to use that when she's not using it because it's perfect. Because it's a, it's not a belt knife. It's one you wear around your neck. It's great for winter camping. When you're winter camping, you want a, uh, a knife around your neck because you can't get to your belt that easily when you have all the layers on. Uh, and uh, the other thing I, I like about this is backpacking. Uh, when you go backpacking, you can't wear a belt knife because the, the harness uh, system is all in your way. So this is great. I might not, not, not even let her use it. No, I'll let her use it. So yeah, got that knife. Uh, the other thing is that this jacket. Um, I'm really kind of pumped about this jacket. I, I've tried a lot of outdoor research jackets in the, uh, in the past. Love them all. But this is the best jacket. Uh, it's a down jacket. Forget the name again, so I'll put it on the bottom. Um, but it is a down jacket that crunches to nothing, um, but also is waterproof. And I gotta say, I don't know about waterproofing, I haven't tried that yet, but this is a really small jacket, but it is warm. Uh, I bought this as like a sort of a medium layer, and I've had it as my main layer. I haven't used my puffy jacket yet, and it's really quite cold. So yeah, with my merino wool, wool power, and this on um, toasty. You know the one thing I did get though, you should really go to the army surplus and get these shirts, wool shirts. I got this for seven bucks. Great, I actually bought three of them. 
They're all the same color. I don't even know which one's washed, which one's not. I just grab them and put them in my pack. <laughs> all right, the other thing I got was a little light, and this is um, by Phoenix, and it's a uh, light for all season tenting, but it really is for uh, using for the winter, it really is, because it's got a AA battery, uh, but it has got a compartment for, I forget the other battery, I'll put it in the bottom, um, for cold temperatures, for batteries for cold temperatures. And I had this on last night, see it gets brighter the more I push it, oops, it goes dull to bright, and whole tent is a glow with this. And look at the size of it, kinda cool. All right, and what else I got? I have, oh yeah, I gotta show you this, phone. Uh, I know that doesn't sound too exciting, but it is to me. This is my old phone. Beam me up, Scotty. Time to get a new phone, right? That is an old phone. So I got this. It's a Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy S5 Active. And um, wow, that's cold. It's minus 13. It's like 10.30 in the morning. Um, but love it. It's the Swiss Army knife for smartphones. Yeah, it's got all the really cool... Things like barometer, compass, um, I think a lot of the phones have those bells and whistles. Uh, but it's supposed to be waterproof. Haven't tested in a toilet yet, but I'll, I'll get back to you if, if it falls in the toilet. But it's supposed to be uh, waterproof, it's supposed to be shatterproof, it's supposed to be dustproof, um, all those things. I haven't tested any of those things, but I can tell you that it's really good in cold temperatures. And that's what they say, it's really, it's really good for cold temperatures. Minus 22 last night, this thing worked no problem. See, they're having fun. You hear them? Students having fun in the wintertime, laughing, not crying. I love it. Anyway, um, so really cold temperatures. It works. I know a couple of the other instructors brought their phones. Didn't work at all. This one does. Love it. All right. What else I got? I got to do this quick because it's uh, time to go and teach Twig ID. Um, oh, what else am I supposed to show you? Did I jag got a knife? Oh, I got my mitts. My mitts. Ulti mitts. Uh, outdoor research ulti mitts. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, Ultimates are really good. I uh, got layers on them, like this. Gore-Tex, waterproof. I usually just wear these, but it was really cold and lousy conditions wear these. Bit pricey, well worth the money. All right. Oh, yeah, my boot. Keen, I think Keen Summit, I'm sure. Again, I'll put the name on the bottom. And uh, really good. To wear in the winter, really lightweight, love that, not clunky. Um, if it gets really damp out and melty conditions in the snow, I put these pullovers on that I think I've shown before. I got these really cheap at a store. Neos, pull these over, and yeah, you look like Herman Monster, but they're fantastic, actually. Good for the money, too. All right, I gotta go there playing some game, um, and then I'm gonna take them tracking in, in Twig ID. And I'm doing this as a job. This is great. This is my job. This is my office. I'm in my office today. <laughs> well, not all the time I'm like this, but it's nice when my office is here. Uh, 